historically, mathematics and physics have always been part of the liberal arts curriculum. Um, they provide their own unique insights into reality so that they are good subjects to know in and of themselves. And secondly, they've always been considered part of um, a preparation towards the study of the uh, higher sciences like philosophy and theology because they introduce students to the practice of logical demonstration and the notions of causality and abstraction and, uh, and unity of a subject which the other higher subjects take up. Here at Christendom College, the students are required to take one course in mathematics and one course in, in science. Um, and we endeavor to uh, not only teach the particular subject material, uh, but also add the, um, the cultural and the historical events which gave rise to the particular ideas that are current in the, the subject so that the students are able to see why the subjects are different from the time of the ancient Greeks and, and, uh, the, and medieval times. And this is particularly true in the courses, uh, the introduction to mathematical thought and the introduction to scientific thought. But it's also present in uh, the subjects like descriptive astronomy and Euclidean geometry, which the students also study. Uh, we feel that's a, um, a, a unique feature of the courses here at Christendom College because it's an integrated approach and we mention uh, areas, uh, subject areas and topics which they'll meet in their history and their philosophy and also uh, in their theology. We're, we're quite proud of what we do here and uh, happy that the students take the courses and we feel we offer them something unique and giving them a special, a different perspective on the sciences and the mathematical subjects that they take where they wouldn't be introduced anywhere else.